Hi, I'm Petter from eDocker and I'm going to show you how you can create uh, a stunning HTML5 tablet magazine in a few minutes uh, directly from InDesign. So I have here an InDesign layout. It's the A4 format and I have printed it earlier and now the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to adjust the size or actually shape of the page to match iPad screen. For that I'm going to use iPad page size converter. And as you can see it changes only very slightly. I earlier used a slug uh, to make some markups where I should uh, extend my bleeds so that I practically have to do anything else when I uh, make this this page shape change. And now I have a perfectly shaped uh, magazine, uh, some 30 pages or something like that. I have also uh, created some sections here because in iPad magazine you can uh, have articles where pages are laid uh, on uh, vertically uh, and articles are laid horizontally so with these sections I can mark uh, those articles here in InDesign. So that's practically everything I have to do here. Then I just start our tablet exporter and simply give a target for my magazine. I give them a folder named demo2 to, to desktop and I create it here. And it takes some two minutes to proceed this and I'm going to skip this in this video and we will jump to next section. Okay, now the export is finished successfully. I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to jump into eDocker Publisher. And first thing I do, I'm going to pick up that folder to this software, it's the demo 2 I created just a few minutes ago. And I push select and now eDocker Publisher, Publisher creates a HTML5 tablet application from this magazine. It's here, demo 2 And now I'm double clicking this and here it is. The InDesign sections are showing here. Uh, every article that has more than one page is actually in design section with multiple pages. And now I can do lots of things here. I can name these articles. Uh, these names will be visible in iPad Viewer in the navigation panel. And I can double click any page. And for now, I can add hyperlinks or videos. And later there will be other tools here like a web view and slideshow tool and maybe social media buttons and all kinds of things. We are going to add very soon lots of tools here. And when I'm ready, I'm just simply clicking the bubbles and of course I can change these uh, page orders if I want. I can drag and drop pages to different positions and eDocker Publisher updates the page hierarchy immediately. And finally I'm going to publish this whole thing and I can choose here if I want to publish to desktop users some kind of fallback as well. It can be a tablet simulator or I can just use any URL address I like if I have some flip page flash magazine somewhere or if I have just in a blog or web page or anything that I'm going to use uh, as a fallback for desktop computer users. I can just choose this URL option and then I can uh, write down address there. But now I'm going to choose the tablet simulator. And of course I want to use iPad option here and then I'm just pushing publish. And now I'm giving a name to this 
demo magazine and I put it to desktop as well and that's it now eDocker publisher, publisher created a desktop magazine and iPad magazine for me and next I'm going to jump to the next section and I'm going to show you how it looks like in iPad. I'm going to use normal FTP client to transfer this magazine to my server. Okay, now I'm here in iPad simulator. I have transferred this magazine to my uh, server by using FTP client and I'm going to open up uh, this Safari mobile. And here is the address and I'm going to push go and now I'm going to show you how this works in iPad. This is iPad simulator but it works exactly the same way in real iPad. So it loads the content. Now I'm going to have an alert that tells me to install this. Okay, it wants also me to increase a little bit the storing space. space. Now I'm going to install it. It's three clicks. First click, add to home screen is second click, and add is the third click. And Safari closes, and now I have installed this publication to my iPad. And in future, I'm going to always open it from this desktop icon. And now I have this HTML5 iPad magazine in my iPad. You can try it yourself. I will give you address uh, below this video screen in the same page. Here's the system. I can swipe these articles uh, and if article has more than one page, uh, if InDesign section had more than one page, there is a small triangle here on the uh, bottom right corner and it means that I have something there. One click will give me a navigation and it's also a uh, table of contents. Double click will zoom and I can uh, drag that zoom in page and another double click will restore the zoom. This is, this is what happens when I uh, download and install this publication to iPad. And if I go to same address with my browser, uh, it will give me a tablet simulator and I will show it to you. Okay, now I'm in normal Safari browser. Of course, this works with other browsers too. And I have this same magazine here, but I use a tablet simulator. So I have the exactly same page structure. I can use uh, these arrow buttons or I can swipe with my mouse or use arrow keys in my keyboard. I have this uh, same navigation here anywhere in this uh, magazine and I have all the hyperlinks and uh, videos and other things here too. This is a perfect uh, iPad simulation uh, for the actual iPad magazine. So here's the whole whole workflow. How can I make this HTML5 web app uh, from InDesign to my iPad or my web browser? And uh, this even works without online connection. Of course, you have to have online connection when you first time go to this magazine with your iPad. But after you have installed it to your home screen, you won't even need uh, online connection to browse through the pages. Uh, hopefully you like this uh, system and you will find some more information from the same page. Thank you.